friends it's mike it's 2022 end of march april's beginning and it was um it was march 29th six years ago that intertwine had its first gathering under the name of intertwine we'd been meeting and dreaming and uh imagining together for you know well over a year and a half before that and when i think about it it's been like nine years of uh of dreaming and birthing this community that um that has been such a gift in my life and hopefully in yours. And uh, I'm also realizing, uh, you know, the pandemic brought some change, our relationship with the ELCA ending and uh, my own family's move to Big Lake and Monticello where I grew up. All these changes um, are leading me to realize that it's, it's time to close this first chapter of Intertwine. And um, man, I'm just so grateful for what we created together. Uh, when I think about all the all the stories that were brought, all the people who brought their their selves, you know, brought brought their true, honest selves, and all the listening that happened, uh, all the creativity and the play, um, all the patience that you had with me as I wondered. Uh, how do you grow a community for um, developing and evolving our spirituality, even as uh, the church around us crumbles, as as society continues to frustrate us, as uh, as the addictions and uh, the codependency of a, of a culture of white supremacy and racism tear us apart? Yeah, how do we do? How do we do that? And I think we did some very beautiful things. And I know the seeds that were planted in the work that we did together, uh, those are going to grow and keep growing into, into beautiful things. Uh, I'm, I'm by the little seedlings here. So, um, you know, we got to tend to this garden. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to be starting a new chapter in my own life, uh, really continuing to explore my writing and crafting of spiritual practices, but also keeping... Keeping the campfire lit, getting people together around fires, and uh, I hope that means continued relationship with you. And um, yeah, I'll be. Uh, I've launched the Patreon page to support my work in writing, and uh, I'm really excited to be working and dreaming together with Rye Moeller to develop Sesh Camp. So watch for that. And uh, I know you are. You are all just doing amazing things in your life because uh, because you're committed to healing. You know, that's what I encountered in so many of the friends uh, that came together to meet to make intertwine uh, was that commitment to healing and becoming. So keep on. Let's keep on. Let's keep supporting. I invite you to consider supporting me and my Patreon and I'll include a link with the video. Um, and lastly, just big thank yous. Uh, first, Laura Lou. Wow, uh, wouldn't have never happened without, without your wonderful music and energy and uh, desire to grow community. Uh, congrats on the new baby. Um, want to thank uh, all you intertwiners. Want to thank, uh, I couldn't, I, well, I can't name you all because I just love you all and it'd be too long of a list. Um, but I uh, want to th thank Nativity Lutheran for their uh, partnership with us uh, and and so many people who supported this dream along the way the dream continues and it evolves and uh, it's because of you and uh, I think I think that's probably enough you know uh, you're probably hopefully you're still with me on this and uh, <laughs> blah 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 I love you that's what I want to say I love you thank you for coming on this journey and uh, let's keep walking it in the ways that we do. Peace and breath.